Let's move on to the Saturday slate of games in college football. And obviously, we have playoff ramifications all over the place here. We're going to begin at noon, Fox's big noon kickoff in the Big 12. TCU continuing their undefeated run with a big upset at Texas a week ago. And the Horned Frogs now head to Baylor. TCU a minus two and a half point favorite over under of 58 in this game. And their odds to make the college football playoff have sunk at DraftKings from plus 700 down to plus 230 now. I'll get into that angle in just a minute, but let's just start with the the game itself here, Brett, with TCU trying to hang in there and pull off this undefeated regular season and get to the Big 12 title game unscathed. Why are we still doing this with TCU? Under a field goal? Yeah, it's... Really? Seven point dog at Texas last week wins outright. What are we doing? Take there TCU. No, there really is no respect on this team. It seems I don't. I don't understand. Like they're first of all, they're eight one and one against the spread this year. Yeah. When are we going to adjust? Maybe this team's really good. I don't think Baylor's all that good. If you look at their uh, wins this year, it's over Iowa State, bottom of the barrel, Big Twelve, Texas State. Who cares? Kansas without Jaden Daniels. Texas Tech, prone to being blown up. Oh, the worst Oklahoma team we've seen in maybe 65 years. Mm. They're 0-3 in ranked games. I don't care that they're at home. I know situationally this is terrible for TCU. Should Would be in a vacuum. Terrible for TCU. They're coming off the big win at Texas. They're in the college football playoff hunt. They have the Big 12 title spot locked up already. It's an 11 a.m. local kickoff. TCU literally just did the same exact thing to Baylor last year. But that's why I think that they're not going to get got because <laughs> they know, hey, guys, did you see all the players in TCU's locker room are exactly the same as they were last year? They're not going to be surprised by this Baylor team. This is a huge rivalry. These teams hate each other. The fan bases are nasty to each other. They're going to show up for this game and they're going to kick the crap out of Baylor. Two and a half. Really? Good God. I Okay. I, I think TCU's running back, outstanding running back, Kendra Miller. I think he's going to play a bigger part in this game than many people expect. We talk about their explosive passing offense. We talk about Max Duggan and Quinton Johnston. Uh, but Baylor is a bottom third team against the rush in their last three games. Uh, 4.6 yards per attempt allowed. That's not very good. And Kendra Miller has just been on one lately. He carved up Texas's defense. That was playing very well. So I like him in this game to play a big part. Uh, TCU still has something to play for. They locked up their big 12 championship spot, but they were left out of the 2014 college football playoff and talking to the people that are huge TCU fans. I, I work, I work with some of them. They are still extremely bitter about that in the, it's still fresh in the team's mind. They, you said it disrespect. That is the word plastered across their whiteboards or chalkboards in teams, in players, in fans' minds right now, because that is what's happening in TCU. They're disrespected in the market, and I'm going to continue taking advantage of this. I'm going to continue paying for steak dinners on Sunday because they cannot price TCU correctly. TCU minus two and a half. Favorite bet on the board this week? Favorite bet on the board this week, just like it was last week with TCU plus seven. I mean, this team is way too focused under Sonny Dykes. They're way too well coached. They don't beat themselves. They don't turn the ball over. They don't commit penalties. Baylor just got beat 31-3 by Kansas State. And we're going to say, oh, well, maybe under a field goal for TCU. No, TCU minus two and a half. I love it. I love it. That's the most conviction I've heard from you on a game this entire season. I can't wait to watch this game now. I'm in, man. I'm in. If I if I wasn't in before, I'm, I'm in now. That's for sure. Uh, I mentioned the, the college odds to make the college football playoff. I just want to go over that angle again in case you missed it last week. A week ago, we told you that if you want to bet TCU to make the playoff, Brett and I are in agreement that they have to go undefeated to get there. So to bet them last week at plus 700 didn't make sense because you could just bet them on the money line each of their next four games and get better than that, close to 11 to 1, maybe more. Uh, to make it as it turns out now with the closing line we got on Texas. It's not as much of a bigger potential payout anymore, but even if you take the minus 140 on the money line this week, what's probably going to be like something like minus 400 against Iowa State next week, something like that. And then probably, you know, I would guess close to a pick them, maybe slight favorite like this one in the Big 12 title game uh, on a neutral field, then you're still probably going to get 
um, closer to three to one than you are this plus 230 price on TCU. So again, just don't automatically take the price on a futures if a rolling parlay, rolling over your winnings in your stake each week to get the same outcome is going to pay you out more. Just continue to look for ways to maximize your potential payout if there's a futures option that you think uh, is short of what the actual real life payout is going to be if you do a rolling parlay instead. Yeah, I, and to just expound on that, right now Kansas State is in the driver's seat to be the team that plays TCU in the Big 12 championship game. Now, you say it's on a neutral field. This isn't going to be a neutral field. Fort Worth is only about 25 minutes away from Arlington. These players are going to be sleeping in their own beds. Yeah. They're they're going to have a huge showing because it's only the second time TCU's ever gotten to the Big 12 championship. And I know I know Kansas State hasn't been there. But if you if you priced it as a TCU home game, which I know is a little bit flawed, but I'll go over both options here. If you price it as a TCU home game, I could see them being favored by about a field goal. Uh, and because it's not a true home game, but it's close, I would probably line that at about two and a half in favor yeah. of TCU. And again, under a field goal, and I know the circumstances around Kansas State. I, I watched the game. I saw how it went. But I, I'd, I'd probably lay that too. But to your point, under a field goal, you're probably looking at minus one. 40 maybe on money yeah, line that's the same as ballpark. what they are on the money line this week yeah yeah so, so plug yeah. those two numbers into a parlay calculator you plug like minus 400 in for this iowa state game next week and and it's not hard to get more than this plus 230 that's being offered on tcu to make the playoffs so um that number has to factor in some probability that they get in with one loss but you know we're in agreement that they're not getting in with one loss so it's irrelevant i agree 